Well, you are quite hard to track down. Does this place mean anything to you? You're not where you think you are. You got carried away. It's not your fault. It's hard to stay focused. I don't blame you. But now, it's time to come back. Confused? Don't be. It'll all make sense soon. I just had to wait for you to be ready. I'm gonna count to ten. And when I say ten, you will open your eyes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is insane. How do you expect us to believe any of that crap? You heard it yourself. You've been here the entire procedure. We all were. That doesn't mean what we witnessed made any sense. It did. You just have to pay attention to the details. His descriptions were very thorough. That they were. Thanks to him, we found a way in. Our attack team was able to successfully enter the complex from where he came out. The details? Is that what matters now? I'm sorry, but I didn't see a nuclear explosion in the middle of the city. Did you? <sighs> Don't be ridiculous. You have to learn to differentiate between memory and fantasy. This whole tale with the explosion and the ultimate destruction of the facility was an obvious stress release. Stress release? We don't have time for stress release. We need answers. How are we supposed to make sense of his ramblings if half of it is fiction? Easy. We already know what happened from the moment he was shot in the head and we took him in. So you could just forget about everything that he said after that. Gentlemen, he's awake. About time. Is he lucid? I should examine him. That won't be necessary. I'm going to need to send him back in. What, so soon? That is not safe. Oh, here we go again. Let's waste two hours hearing him fantasize about how he's gonna save the world. I'm gonna get a cup of coffee. I have no choice. Our men are inside. We lost radio contact. He is our only hope. If you turn him into a vegetable, he won't be able to help us now, will he? Michael, please. The procedure is already at risk due to his head trauma. If you push him too hard, he might have a seizure. He can take it. He must. Does he understand what we're doing? He'll connect the dots eventually. Won't you, Jake? Maybe you should explain it to him. Having him confused isn't helping. Jake, look at me. What do you remember? I'm telling you, you should explain everything to him. The bullet has caused a severe head trauma. It's what's causing his short-term memory loss. The harder he will try to think, the worse it will get. Jake, do you know where you are now? Of course he doesn't know. He's been stuck in his head for the past 12 hours. That is inaccurate. He was always in control. We were just guiding him. If we were controlling everything, he wouldn't have had these... outbursts of mild fantasy. Jake, everything that you just told us, all the events that you described, took place over the last week. That's right, Wacko. And you weren't sent to some underground place in Arizona. In fact, you haven't moved from this chair since 8 o'clock this morning. What is going on out there? You better go find out. Jake, look at the red light. Jake, listen to my voice. It is your guy. Whatever you do, keep following my voice. Follow my voice.
this way. Here. This way. Follow my voice. Over here. This way. You're almost there, Jake. You're almost there. Good. This is where everything split. Now, go back. Before the train. Before the jet. Before level five, take me back to the north wing on level two. Take me back to the labs. Don't worry about the gas. There is no gas. You're not suffocating. You're alone. You are safe. Good. Do you see the journal? Go to it. What's behind that door, Jake? He's back. This is too risky. Jake, take a deep breath, focus on the lights, take me back. Intricately connected, guiding me step by step, foretelling my actions, robbing me of my free will. On one side I have my work, 
that will help billions and probably save mankind from being annihilated by their own mistakes. And on the other, I am the father of a dying child. We're almost there. Jake, go back in. Look at the lights. Good. Now open the journal. The bond between my co-workers and I it goes beyond anything I've ever seen. Especially her. We all know what we have to do. We all know there is no other choice. If only he could see it. The Eastern Janus, they call him. My opposite. It seems they forget we are on the same side. One problem. Two opposite solutions that cannot coexist.
into the underworld to take away the pain. But now I know the truth of it. The path before me is plain. I was forced here to the underworld to battle the insane, and I'm searching. I'm searching for a real sense of who I am, a real sense of what I'm doing in this game. From underneath this head Searching for a real sense of who's to blame The real truth behind the guilt surrounding me An escape from underneath this hell Of tragedy No government. The president, the democracy, it's all a bunch of fucking lies. They feed you bullshit because that is what you want to hear. Because you can't handle the truth. Confusion and chaos. Who should I follow? Who can I trust? Betrayal and evil. The guilt of it all is making me fall back again. Searching for a real sense of who I am. A real sense of what I'm doing. An escape from underneath this hell. A real sense. The real truth behind the guilt surrounding me Then escape from underneath this hell Of tragedy And misery